do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter circulation and in that we are studying topic anticoagulation now anticoagulants if i say they are the substances that prevent the clotting mechanism let's study about it today now imagine you go for a cbc count which is complete blood count that is you give your sample to the technician and you want them to do your complete blood test whenever you do that we all know that once you remove blood out of your body your blood is going to coagulate now if clotting is going to happen don't you think so that he or she is going to find it difficult to do the test or analysis so at such time anticoagulating agents are added to the blood so that the blood does not coagulate also if they need serum plasma separately for that test it could be antibody test or antigenic test depending on the requirement of the patient they make sure that it happens so anticoagulation or anticoagulants are the substances that prevent the clotting mechanism now one of the most commonly used anticoagulants is sodium oxalate and heparin that are widely used for to stop blood coagulation anticoagulation now the substances that actually prevent clotting mechanism inside body are termed as anticoagulants now one of the normal examples or simple examples is heparin the another example is sodium oxalate what happens is heparin stops the clotting factor or clotting mechanism by inhibiting the formation of thrombin now we all know if there is no thrombin formation inside the body do you think so that there is going to be formation of fibrinogen which is the insoluble component no also the formation of fibrin which is the soluble component or which is the component that is polymerization now we all know that fibrinogen is the soluble one whereas the fibrin which is the insoluble one both won't be formed if that is not going to happen there will be no polymerization that is going to take place no polymerization hence there is no clot formation or no thrombus formation and hence blood is not going to be clotted so in labs heparin is used very evidently students in this part of the chapter we came across anticoagulants and what is anticoagulation mechanism and i hope we are clear with this concept thank you